Wake up, Ted. Wake up. Bear, wake up. What in the... Why are you yelling? You passed out. No. <clears throat> I was just... Just resting my eyes for a minute. Shut up and listen. I was in the auditorium just now and saw some commotion up here. Up here? It seems someone snuck up on you and hit you over the head with that bottle. Sure. Why not? That's what happened. I think whoever knocked you out locked the door behind me. Wait, we're locked in. Most definitely. Hmm. Any other exits? There's a projection window, but the projector is too close. Can't squeeze through. Okay. Let's see if you can move that thing somehow. I can't move the projector right now. It's locked in place. I'll just leave it here on the floor. I can't reach it. The projector's in the way. No, not yet. I feel like I need to do something else first. I'll take it with me. There. We should be able to move it now. There. We can get a bit closer to the window now. What are you even doing here? It was your sister's idea. It's... this whole thing. Hey, where is she? How come you're here? She had to take care of something. She asked me to step in for a bit. She did? That's what I just said. Hmm. Anyways, I'm not explaining all of this to you. Why not? You'll be gone as soon as Amber gets back, so what's the point? We both know this detective game isn't your cup of tea, superhero boy. She... She what? Where is she? I told you. She had something to do. You know, in real life. Hmm. She hasn't told me anything. Well, she was in a hurry. All this sounds really strange, kid. You know that. Look, you can talk to her when she gets back. Get off my case. Fine. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here first, and then I'll brief you in. The window is stuck. I need to find a way to yank it open. I'll take this one. Maybe we can use it on that window over there. Huh. It's as thick as they come. Must be something important. Now if I could tie this to the window, maybe we could use a projector to pull it open. Okay, this could work. Bear? The film looks strong enough. Go for it. Let's lock it in place. Great job, kid. Vandalism at its best. It's too high to jump. We need some kind of rope. It's filled with stuff, I guess. Good guess. There! Now I can use it as a rope. There we go. Holy shit, kid. You actually pulled it off. There. Nothing to it. You didn't pull a muscle, did you? Pull a muscle? I'm made of stuffing. Anyways, let's get going. Go where? What were you even doing here? Okay, quick briefing. Robots are disappearing all over the city, and their union hired me and your sister to find out who's behind it. And? And what? Who's behind it? What do you? We're in the middle of the goddamn investigation. Sounds like sloppy work to me. Yeah, like you'd know what work sounds like. Fair enough. 
There was this guy who went missing, Robbie, left a coat behind with a movie ticket. So? The date on the ticket, it was the same night he went missing. Okay, I get it. Anyways, I didn't find anything, but somebody else was apparently bothered by us snooping around here. That's good. How's that good? Relatively. It means we're on the right track. Let's go back to the entrance. Rossum, the old robot who works here, he must have seen someone enter after us. To the entrance, Ted. Keep it down, goddammit. What is this, loud idiot day? So, where's this robot of yours? Hmm, I guess he left. He left, all right. Left everything wide open and all the lights on. Is trust not valued anymore by your generation? I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm not. Where the hell is this Ross guy, Ted? Rossum. And I don't know, kid. He was here before. He let me in. There are bolts all over the floor. And it kind of looks like... God damn it. You think? He's gone, kid. Whoever locked us in there, they've got him now. So? Now what? Look around for a bit. See if you can find anything. Sure. Nah, I don't want to sell tickets. I'll pick them up. I'll take it with me. I could use it as a club, maybe. This could only really stop you, Bear. Was that a short joke? Planet Cheese? What the? What's the deal? Who knows? These new ones. They're all the same. This one feels especially cheesy. It says, get your ass down to Jungle Jazz Room this weekend and try our famous Southside Fizz. One free drink with this coupon. Take it with you. Um, I feel like it's an important clue. Hmm. The coupon part was torn off, Ted. Throw it away, then. Who cares? I'll take it with me. Maybe we could use it somehow. Just trash. I don't feel like going through it. You and me both, kid. Let's head back to the Union and report to Lifty. Never took you for the by-the-book guy. Me neither. But what else are we going to do? Stand here like a couple of boobs? I mean... It all started a couple of days ago. I just got released from the hospital after two weeks of intensive care. I got messed up bad. And by her, of all people. Betty was always on the emotional side. And when her blood gets to boiling, all hell breaks loose. It's what I really liked about her. The bullet grazed my left ear, the doctor said, and if it weren't for the fall, I would have gotten away unscathed. But then, I wouldn't have learned anything. She tried to do me in. That much is clear. I can't really hold it against her. Not after what I did. And I'd rather have her do it than some lowlife down at the docks. No point in crying about it, really. No point in doing anything at all anymore, I thought. Amber pulled me out of it for a while. Made me take on this case. I guess it's better than doing nothing. I have to keep my mind busy. When I'm left alone, I tend to languish. Anyways, this case, it's all sorts of wrong. Someone is hell-bent on taking all the tin heads out of commission. Parts are being left behind in dark alleys, mouths are being kept shut, and blind eyes are being turned. Lifty Workovsky, head of the robot union. Odd broad, 
she was the one who called us. I guess having all them robots missing is starting to reel in some real bad rap. After this last guy, Robbie disappeared. We went snooping around his place for a bit. There was nothing out of the ordinary. But we found this ticket stub in one of his jackets. Not much of a lead, but it was the only one we had. Amber was supposed to meet me at the cinema, but she was a no-show. Flint's a good kid. I have nothing against him, but we never spent all that much time together. Seeing as all the women in my life decided to collectively quit, I guess this is as good a time as any. I just hope the kid won't slow me down too much. Well, you sure slowed us down back there. I'm shorter than you, goddammit. I can't walk as fast. Well, maybe if you would pick up the pace a little, I wouldn't need to wait pick on you. Pick up the pace. It's, always it's not. You, isn't it's it? not all about it's the steps I was kid. When things I'm don't shorter, and therefore way. have shorter steps. It's basic physics. What are you? Hey! You could have walked hey, a bit slower. Hey, what the hell? I'm saying. Who's this kid now? This is Doug. Dougie. He sells insurance. Name's Flint, ma'am. I mean, really, Ted? How many of these kids do you intend to put in peril? Is the girl dead already? She's fine. He's stepping in for a bit. Listen, we were at the cinema just now. We found a ticket stub in Robbie's jacket. I imagine so. The union had a meeting at the Lux that night. And you thought now was a good time to mention this? You're a real piece of work, you know that. Oh, careful you don't fall off that high horse, Bear. You seem fond of falling lately. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Anyways, there was another one tonight. You ruined another bar owner with your excessive debt? Rossum Heel, the old guy who sells tickets. Know him. Yeah, but... He went missing tonight. Holy motherboard! Ted, you need to do something. This is starting to look really bad. Yeah, starting to anyways. Wanted to let you know you're off the paper daily. Robbie worked there, right? He was an accountant there. Go, you two. Get there fast. As fast as our feet will carry us. Which, in his case, turns out it's not that fast. Don't you own a car? You're like 40. A car? He barely owns a pair of pants. I like this kid. Where did you find him? He was on sale down at Stupid Kids Depot. Want him? I'm all set. Get out of my office, Bear. And next time, show me some results. Yeah, yeah. See you around. Bye, Miss Rakowski. Take care, kid. Hey, Sam. Dad, you're healing up nicely. Only on the outside. I went to see you at the PC General. You're out cold, though. That morphine, let me tell you. Literally the only good thing about that place. Yeah, plus all the healthcare. Sure, if you're into that sort of thing. Listen, Sam, I didn't come here to reminisce. Right, you're here because of Robbie. How could you know that already? It's his job, kid. There's a saying in Paper City. When in doubt, ask Blabbermouth. There's a saying like that? No, I just made it up. Catchy! I thought no one would be here this late. You mean OCD? He's always here. I'd rather if he wasn't. Why? You plan on doing something shady? Only if you consider breaking and entering shady. Go ahead. OCD's arranging tomorrow's print. I'll cover for you. Thanks, Sam. I owe you one. You owe me more than one, Bear. I keep a tab. You, lowlife. I missed you. Good thing Betty's not a great shot, buddy. It's nice to have you around. Holy sheets of paper, Bear Man. So many papers. It's only paperwork, kid. No need to waste our best years. Okay, so what are we looking for? Something out of place. Like? I don't know. Something, God damn it. Do what your sister would have done. Detect. <sighs> Fine. And don't give me that attitude. You wanted to help. Now help. I said fine. I'll look around or whatever. There's a page in here. It's covered in a bunch of numbers. Huh. Sounds about right. Anything worth looking at? I really have no idea. Wow. 
What? Oh, no. What? It's a noose. I mean, we've all been there. I'll take it. Feels like I'm doing him a favor. Nah, I'm not an accountant. The 20th of November circled. It just says meeting. It's that union meeting they had at the Lux. Oh, that's right. The 18th of October was also circled. It has a little heart next to it, and... Okay, I get it. Robbie's life is full of various meetings and excitement. Well, was. Don't jump to any conclusions just yet, kid. I've got some news, Ted. I mean, this is a newsroom. What happened? Robbie, they found some of his parts down by the river. Great, that's great. <clears throat> um... Come on, you know what I mean. Not great, obviously, but it'll give me something to work with. Are you heading there now? I can't just leave yet, and I need to confirm this lead. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll let you know if I find something. Mr. Eeks. Oh, my lord. What a tragedy. Such a mishap. Misfortune. Such a... Malady? Hey, Eeks. Why so blue? Ted, my friend, is that really you? Can you smell it, Bear? Yeah, I think there's something down there. It's my camembert. You lost your cheese? Kid, please. Yes, boy. It rolled down the levee. So you can't get it yourself, because it's just too darn heavy? Listen, you wouldn't happen to know anything about some robot. He was seen around here. You mean that tin head who just recently disappeared? Robbie, that's the one. Is he around? I think the poor guy might have drowned. He's down there by the riverbank, Ted, but I honestly think he might be dead. Well, he's a robot, Eeks. It takes a lot to take them out. No doubt. Ted, we need to see what this is all about. Okay, please. Enough with the pros. Ted had it up to his nose. <laughs> we need to get down there, somehow. And we'll get your cheese, too, while we're at it. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, all the blessings to you, Snoop. You two go ahead. I need to go... P um, let's go faster, Ted. Does he speak exclusively in rhymes? Well, he is a poet, and he does seem to know it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a good one. Huh. What gave it away? The homelessness. Anyways, you need to get down there. Me? Who else? Eeks? He's like a hundred. What about you? Huh. Closer to forty-five. Kid, we don't have all night. We need to get you down there. Ugh, fine, whatever. I'll just take it. Hope no one will miss it. For, you know, driving heavy stuff around. That's all it's for. The cradle of Paper City. And, for many of its residents, the final resting place. What's the name of that bridge again? St. Florian's Bridge. It's the popular jumping spot. Hey, that belongs to me. Leave it be. It's a hole in the ground. You're observant. I mean, what's there to say? Hmm. Maybe we could bury the stanchion here to serve as a climbing anchor. You could get down to the lower bank, then. Hmm. This could work. I... No, that won't work.
what? I mean, you didn't have to throw the shovel into the river. Why not? We might need it again? Nah, we won't. Nice, I got the climbing rope. As opposed to... Well, a hanging rope. Oh, boy. Is this him? Used to be. What do you think happened? I don't... I don't know. You need to get him out. Any ideas? Not at the moment. Hey, on the plus side, there's the cheese. Yeah, there it is. All our troubles are over now. I can't reach it. Just forget about the cheese. Oh no! Dad, please! No, I didn't mean it like that. Eeks. Oh my god. I can't... I can't reach it. Heavy duty tire for trucks and or SUVs. It's torn though. This could work actually. I could use this to pull him out. They're really stuck. I need to think this through. I could probably reach the other end of the rope now. Top of the world, ma. My weight alone won't work, though. I need something else. There. Now I just need to pull on it. the legs. Hey, kid. You got it? Got what? The super heavy rust and mud covered robot? No, Ted. I don't have it. Well, what's the hold up? I mean... My dear boy, did you find my... Jeez. Yeah, it's down there, but I can't reach it. I thought maybe I could use your cane. Oh yes, yes. No need to explain. Here you go, son. Just bring it back as soon as you're done. I need that plank over there, too. Oh, you do? Um, yes. Some of the parts are stuck in the river. I need to get close. And there's nothing else of use but my plank, I suppose? That's what I just said. Okay, how about you go and get my cheese first instead? Okay, fine, but I'll need that plank. Yes, yes. Now off with you, down that riverbank. There, I got it. I got the stupid cheese. Wow, it's a nice view from up here. It sure is. Are you a sightseer? Nah, I just wanted to be polite. Well, all right. Here's your stupid cheese. That thing weighs a ton, by the way. Hooray! A million and one thanks to you, my boy. You saved the day. Great. Now, for the actual thing we're here for. Let me catch my breath, goddammit. It's not a race. Eeks, about that plank. You made a deal. Ah, yes. A wooden board in exchange for my cheese wheel. 
Take it, boy. It's yours. Now you can do even more chores. Yeah, you hear that? More chores. You know. I'm sure I do. Get cracking, kid. We're pressed for time. Lazy good for nothing, I oughta. Hey, no mumbling. Great, I got the piece of wood. It was almost worth the trouble. I don't want to waste this. It's such a nice plank. I don't want to waste this. It's such a nice plank. Great, that worked. I can get closer now. I got it. I got his, ew, head, I guess. So, we all set? Yeah, no thanks to you. Let's not get into the whole who did or didn't do all the work. So what's next? Hmm. What? You see, the thing about tin heads is that they're almost impossible to take out completely. What do you mean? Is he not dead? Only in the sense of him not being alive anymore. Well, how do we... We? Do I look like a roboticist to you? No, kid. We need to get him to Fixie Mender. Who? A friend of mine. And as luck would have it, she's also the best mechanic this side of the Dredge River. Pretty convenient. And she can fix him? Hopefully. See you around, Eeks. Yeah, enjoy your cheese and planks and whatnot. Thank you, boys. And you have fun advancing the plot. Is this the new hair salon everyone's been telling me about? Well, well, I'll be damned. You're still among the living? You seem surprised. Last I heard, Betty did you in. Nah, I mean, she tried. Bless her heart. Actresses, if it were me, you'd be hanging upside down with stuffing coming out your mouth. Your husband's the lucky guy, Fix. My husband knows better than to do what you did. She cared about you, scumbag. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. Let me guess. You need my help. Help is such a strong word. Well, you see, I can't seem to get my lighter to work. And? And if I don't have a smoke soon, you'll get to experience what I was just talking about just now. About you hanging upside down? The kid gets it. Wait, you're not... How's this dashing young man, Ted? That's Barney Darney. He's a carney. Name's Flint, ma'am. Nice to meet you, Flint. I'm Fixie. Now, if you two don't want for the three of us to be in the papers tomorrow, go and fetch some gas from a lighter. Do I look? Shut your booze hole and get me some goddamn gasoline, Ted. Okay? Jeez, fine. But don't get used to this. Check the junkyard. There's bound to be some there. I'll just pick this up. Sure. Someone may trip over it. Okay, sport. We're alone now. What's eating you? What? What do you mean? You're less talkative than usual, and mostly you seem anxious. What's the deal? Does it have to do with your sister? 
Yes. No. I mean, why does it matter? Uh, I can't have you moping around like that while we're on this case. I need you to focus, and you can't do that if you're somewhere else. I'll try. Can we just let it go for now? Hmm. Fine. Let's just find some gasoline, okay? Sure. I'll take it. You never know. I wonder if it's fully loaded. Or if there's a diamond in the tank. I can't. It's stuck under this pile of junk. No use for a cat. Does anyone? Jeez, what the? Huh, seems she's in a bad mood. More so than usual. Her front leg is creaking. Maybe that's why. Hmm, I wonder if there's some gas left inside. So there it is. There it is. She could get good money for it. You don't sell a thing like that. I'll take it. We could use this for the gas. This should work. All I need is the canister. There, I got it unstuck. I could use an empty canister. I'll take it with me. It's just filling up by itself. Huh. I guess they didn't plan this in the animation budget, but fine. Let's head back. We found some gasoline, ma'am. You're a lifesaver, kid. So, now that we supported your habit, maybe we can talk. What's on your mind? Wait, does this have anything to do with the missing tin heads? It does. I already talked to the cops, Ted. I don't know anything about that. It's not. We need your mechanical know-how. What did you do? We found Robbie. Ted thinks you can fix him. What? Ted, are you insane? That's my suspicion. You can't bring him here. Take him to the hospital. No, I need to talk to him before the police do. I could get into a lot of trouble for this bear. Yeah, well, I knew a girl once. She was all about getting into trouble. That was all ill. That was a different time, Ted. Listen, I need your help. We have the poor guy here. I really need to find out what he knows. I... I can't! We can stop further kidnappings, Fix. Please, ma'am. Mm. Oh, I can't 
can't say no to that pretty face. Thanks. I would blush, but I'm monochromatic. I was talking to the kid, you goon. I know. Here, I've opened my repair shop. Take him there. You're a doll. I owe you one. Aye, aye. Shut up and get him on the workbench. I'll have a look at him. Okay, what did you find? It's his outer shell. Most of the internal components are missing. Well, well, kid. Looks and brains. Give us ladies a chance, at least. Okay. Can you fix him? Hmm. Maybe. But right off the bat, I can tell you he's missing some things. A warm companion. Here's the blueprint, funny guy. You get around, don't ya? Now get around to doing something constructive. You heard the lady, son. Let's get to walking around some more. Hmm. I'll show you, lady. We need these for Robbie. These guys really knew how to bop, let me tell ya. Oh, man. I was great at pool when I was younger. You don't play anymore? Nah. I keep myself busy with other things now. It's the music machine, whatchamacallit. A jukebox? That's what I meant. We can put Robbie's parts here. Fixie will put him together. There you go, buddy. You'll be right as rain in no time. Yeah. Keep your head up, you know. Hmm. It's bent a bit. It doesn't fit anymore. Ah, it's fine. Fixie will attach it later. Right, Fix? Hmm. Fixie's Chrome Eldorado. It's so blown up. It's a tough game. Dealership. You gotta stand out, you know. We need these for Robbie. Like Zoin Snoop? Nothing. Is that a reference of some kind? I... Nah, forget about it. Want a snack? Snack? What the hell are you talking about? I'll take it. It seems Fixie has more than enough. That's solid reasoning. There you go. This should do the trick. Now's your chance. I'll take these, now that she's gone. He'll be able to see now. Eyesight is neat. Right? Here's your, I'm guessing, eyeballs? What? You haven't aged a day. Oh, shut up. Man, there's sure an abundance of tires around here. I was thinking the same thing. 